Once again, Japan springs into action to make all of your augmented reality dreams come true. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is studying how to remove fuel rods from the crippled facility. Tokyo Electric Power Company examined one unused assembly removed in mid-July. It says it found no significant damage or change in the rod's shape. The utility plans to examine the fuel pellets inside the rods in the coming days. More than 1,500 assemblies remain in the water pool of the number four reactor. TEPCO plans to begin removing them next year as a step towards decommissioning the reactor. The utility also plans to build new tanks to store contaminated water. TEPCO says the plant is producing 400 tons of contaminated water per day. This is partly because the groundwater is entering the reactor building through cracks in walls. The existing tanks are already 85% full. The measure will boost storage capacity by 170,000 tons. The company says that should be sufficient until November next year. Participants at a conference on nuclear safety in Vienna are eager to hear what their Japanese colleagues had to say. Government officials explained their efforts to improve standards at nuclear plants. The International Atomic Energy Agency is hosting representatives from 75 countries and organizations. The countries are party to the Convention of Nuclear Safety. Director General Yukia Amano said member countries should learn lessons from the accidents at Fukushima Daiichi. It is essential that all of us, member states, the IAEA and other key holders, maintain our sense of urgency. Japan's lead delegate said a government agency in charge of nuclear safety failed to respond effectively after the accident. No shit. The official said the Japanese government will set up a more independent regulatory organization to ensure the safe control of nuclear energy. What's so funny now? I sometimes just think funny things. A panel of experts says a majority of Japanese don't want to depend on nuclear power. It's urging the government to review its energy policy. The panel found that 70 to 80 percent of survey respondents think nuclear power should be reduced to 0 percent or 15 percent by 2030. It says this reflects growing public mistrust over governmental decision making on nuclear policy and concerns about safety. The panel insists the government present concrete plans to ensure nuclear safety, recycle spent nuclear fuel, and promote renewable energy sources. It also stresses the importance of continuing nationwide discussion on the nation's energy policy. Japan's government has downgraded its economic assessment for the first time in 10 months in its monthly report for August. The report released on Tuesday said the economy is recovering, but there have been recent weak movements. That's a downgrade from a July assessment, which said it was on a moderate recovery path. The government lowered its assessment of exports to weakening. Foreign trade has dropped in the global economic slowdown. And for industrial production, the government has lowered its assessment from rising modestly to flat. For the economic outlook, the report cautions against the strong yen and further deterioration in the global economy in the wake of the European debt crisis.
People in North Korea have heard the voice of their new leader for only the third time since he succeeded his late father in December 2011. State-run television broadcast a speech criticizing military drills being held by South Korea and the United States. Kim warned that if a single shell is fired into North Korean territory, its military is ready to wage an all-out counter-offensive. Political analysts say the speech is an effort to strengthen unity and demonstrate Kim's leadership at home and abroad.